ISIS. Now that the dreadful terrorist organization has been almost completely defeated in Syria, I think we can all admit that that's a pretty cool flag. I mean, I'm not saying I would join <laughs> just because of that, but I'd look at the brochure. I'm just saying now that they're gone, like, we can talk about this, right? <laughs> Anyway, hundreds of ISIS members have been rounded up as prisoners of war. And now there's a new battle over who has to deal with them. President Trump is calling on European nations to take in hundreds of ISIS fighters who've been captured in Syria and put them on trial. He's warning more than 800 prisoners could make their way to Europe as ISIS is ready to fall. And if they're not tried in Europe, the president claims the alternative would be to release them. The alternative would be to release them? <laughs> You know what's weird about Trump is that I think he's really good at identifying problems, but his solutions are genuinely the worst. <laughs> because he is right. The U.S. can't keep prisoners of war detained forever, but the solution can't be to just let them go. <laughs> what do we do with them? All right, ISIS, you fly free now. <laughs> like, he does this all the time. He identifies the problem, and then his solution is crazy. Illegal immigration is a problem. Build a wall, horrible solution. <laughs> The fossil fuel industry is declining with the jobs. Yeah, but force people to use coal, horrible solution. <laughs> My marriage is struggling. I know, I'll f a porn star. Horrible solution. <laughs> Moving on. Discrimination. It can take many forms. It can be blatant, you know, a restaurant refusing to serve you because of the color of your skin, or it can be subtle, a restaurant refusing to serve you because you forgot to put on pants. It was a busy day, I got distracted, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, Denny's. <laughs> but now New York City is taking aim at a form of discrimination that is truly insidious. New York City is taking a stand against hairstyle discrimination. Employers can no longer ban natural hair or ethnic hairstyles. That's under groundbreaking new guidelines by the city's Human Rights Commission. They say the change was largely prompted by negative stereotypes that hairstyles like afros, braids, or dreadlocks are unprofessional. Yes. Finally! <laughs> Finally! This is great news. Because white people may not know this, you may not be aware of this, but there are a lot of employers who would refuse to hire or promote black workers because their natural hair is seen as unprofessional. Yeah, and because of this, many black people are held back. You know, like Questlove. He actually wanted to be an accountant. <laughs> yes. But because of his afro, this poor man was forced to become a rock star. That's not his <laughs> dream. He wants to balance checks. So this is a great law, you know, no more discrimination based on hair. Although I do think there should be some flexibility. Like, obviously you shouldn't be allowed to discriminate against a black person if they have dreadlocks. But if it's a white person with dreadlocks, <laughs> discrimination should be mandatory. <laughs> that should be the law. <laughs> like, if a white dude has dreadlocks, it should be forced, like, you should be forced to, like, <laughs> mock him and kick him out of his job. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. White dudes with dreadlocks don't have jobs. All right, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Finally, this is a weird story. Uh, the lightsaber. It's the second most stroke won by Star Wars fans. And <laughs> you may mock them, but soon you can mock them at the Olympics. It's now easier for Star Wars fans to act out their fantasies if they're in France, the French Fencing Federation, originally and officially recognizing lightsaber dueling as a competitive sport. That means LED lit polycarbonate Star Wars replicas have the same status as blades used by Olympic fencers. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> this is so dope. Are you kidding me? This is fun. Lightsaber battles at the Olympics. They're fighting competitively. And to make it more exciting for these professional lightsaber fighters, the winner of the tournament gets to see a boob for the first time. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. And now, I know there's a lot of haters out there that are like, oh, this isn't a real sport. It's just some made-up nonsense. Yeah. And you know what? All sports are made-up nonsense, <laughs> all right? I don't know if you've seen the Olympics, but it's all made-up nonsense. A guy pushes a ball off of his shoulder, and they give him a gold medal. What is that, huh? <laughs> That's not a sport. Then another guy's like, what if we put a ball on the end of a chain and string that around? Yeah, you can have a gold medal, too. It's just as ridiculous as lightsabers. I mean, there's that ribbon sport. What is that? Where someone just, like, was probably playing with their cat. They were just, like, <laughs> doing that thing, and they're like, gold medal. It's all ridiculous.